Greetings everyone and welcome to another special Halloween Closer Look. Today we're going to be taking a look at two editions of what many consider to be the masterpiece of Italian horror director Lucio Fulci, namely The Beyond. Now this is the old Arrow video DVD release. There was a Blu-ray edition as well, which sadly I didn't get, uh, but I do have the DVD edition. I did do a, a closer look at this a bajillion years ago in the days of standard def, so I thought we'd take an encore look at it here in the days of 1080p 60 frames per second, and I have this special limited edition from Grindhouse Releasing on Blu-ray, which is one of the uh, more recent releases and both of these are really beautiful sets with uh, their own goodies to offer. So let's check them out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> Now, The Beyond was the culmination of a trilogy of films that uh, Fulci did, referred to as the Gates of Hell trilogy. The first one was City of the Living Dead in 1980, and the second one was House by the Cemetery in 1981, and then followed later the same year by The Beyond. So The Beyond follows the story of a uh, young woman who inherits a hotel and the hotel may or may not have been built on one of the seven gates to hell. Spoiler, it is. <laughs> um, it's not long that she's there before strange things start going on. Uh, people get killed or mysteriously disappear. Uh, start to see zombies and ghosts and... Um, and, of course, being a Fulci film, you can expect some pretty graphic and disturbing gore. Um, there's a centerpiece scene where a little girl sees her mother accidentally knocked unconscious and her face dissolved with hydrochloric acid right in front of her as she looks on in horror. There's another scene where a guy literally gets eaten alive by just a swarm of spiders and all in graphic close-up and slow motion so yeah not for the faint of heart or the weak of stomach but such is the worlds of fulci um yeah the beyond is an interesting one it's just nuts <laughs> to say the least so city of the living dead the start of the trilogy is similarly crazy in that there's a lot of things where just random, crazy, gory stuff happens to the characters when you least expect it. Uh, House by the Cemetery, I would say, is probably the most accessible of the three, if you're unfamiliar with, uh, with his work. Um, in that it's essentially a straight-up zombie story. Um, a, you know, good old-fashioned don't-go-in-the-basement because something's down there that'll eat you story. And uh, it's really good. It's a good suspenser. I really enjoy all of them, actually. Uh, but The Beyond is definitely the culmination of all the types of things that you've seen in the previous two. Uh, you've got zombies in it. You've got horrible things in the basement. Um, I mean, you literally have the gate to hell. And you have mysterious, ghostly apparitions and flashbacks and flash forwards. And um, it really challenges the viewer to pay attention. And I think a lot of it is open to the viewer's interpretation as well. Now, I just gave you a little taste of some of the gory bits, but there's a lot more to it than simply just blood and guts. Oh, there's that, a plenty. But uh, it's also a very surreal. Uh, almost dreamlike horror story in a lot of ways. And yeah, it, it's a hell of a ride. 
get it. A hell of a ride. Anyway, there's a lot to cover with these two editions. There's a lot of extras and uh, pack-ins and stuff like that. So let's not waste any time. Let's go down to the black box and check out these two wonderful editions of Lucio Fulci's masterpiece, The Beyond. Okay, so let's start here with the 2011 DVD release of The Beyond from Arrow Video. Now, there was a Blu-ray edition of this as well, but I didn't get it. It was uh, basically just the, the DVD edition. It was gifted to me by a viewer many moons ago. And there we go. Quite a plethora of extras there. That is something that Arrow has always done. They've always strived to be a premier label for genre films and the like. So if we slide it out here. This is before they did their hard boxes. This is actually just kind of a flimsy thing with the transparent front. But uh, this was their standard design for their collector's editions for a very long time. These white boxes. And they're actually quite sought after by collectors now. Now as was the norm for Arrow, you have a selection of multiple covers that you can have displayed through that clear box. So here we have La Dilla, which I guess was the original Italian title. Very nice. And then if we just open this up here, you'll see that it's it's a two disc edition. I'm not entirely sure why I have two copies of disc one. I'm guessing maybe one was a disc replacement or something. I don't recall. It was a very long time ago that I got this. So if we slide out the insert here, the cover, just set this aside for a moment, you'll see that on the other side we have two more covers. So this is reversible, and you can actually have whichever cover you want visible through the... Uh, the transparent front of the box, which is pretty cool. So I basically just chose one that I thought looked good and that was different from the other edition that I have. So if we take a look here, these are of course uh, Region B PAL format uh, DVDs, which means they do have the 4% PAL speed up. Um, so if you're watching and that's a concern, you may want to uh, I can actually correct that in VLC player basically just by uh, having it play at 4% slower and without pitch correction so that it pitches it down as well and then it just plays normally. So we have a booklet. Just give you a little look at here. So this is much like their collector's editions now where they have, see there's the other poster. So they have all kinds of goodies about the movie. Very nice, full color pictures, glossy. Nowadays they do the uh, square bound books, which uh, I think are even higher quality. These are just standard, you know, glossy pages stapled together. But uh, very nice booklet indeed. Some more poster art, some of the magazine, or like newspaper ads and stuff. And uh, there you go. Then we have a poster. Let's uh, let, let's take. It's not as big as uh, the ones they have in their sets now. They actually have larger posters in their current sets. But let's take a little step back and we'll take a closer look at the poster. Okay, let's see if we can uh, show you this poster here a little more easily. Very careful here. All right, so here is the uh, the new artwork, which is quite nice. I'm sure you'll agree. A little bit closer. No, can't quite get it in the light. And then on the back, we have one of the original posters, one of the original Italian posters, La Laldila. And there you go. So that's the poster. Very nice. And kind of a nice little time capsule thing. Here we have the Arrow Video 
2011 edition of their catalog. <laughs> so you can see what a lot of their special editions were. So a lot of their early Blu-ray releases and uh, things like that. And uh, this is when they were they were just starting to get into Blu-ray here. So a lot of their titles were coming it up coming out on uh, both formats. You can see some of their earlier. I um, do I have this one? Is this no? It's Dawn of the Dead. I have the Day of the Dead uh, Blu-ray edition from this era. It's quite nice. Martin, this one is highly sought after. I actually do have this. I did a video about it a while ago. I have a couple editions of Martin. I really wish that would get a Blu-ray release. Very uh, different and underrated and underseen vampire film. Here we have City of the Living Dead. I also do have that one. I did a video about it a while ago. And there. And there. Caligula. That's a really nice Battle Royale set. Take a look at that. And there we go. So very, very nice. And I, I find it interesting to note they actually mentioned the PAL speed up thing on the back there, just to prevent confusion. Uh, it says... Running times. Running times are noted for each format. Our Blu-ray discs may be presented at 24 frames per second. PAL DVDs are 4% faster and therefore have a shorter running time. This has nothing to do with any cutting or censorship. Every effort is made to ensure films are presented completely uncut and in the most complete version available. So I guess they were concerned that people might be confused about the discrepancy in the running times. Of course, for the longest time, the only way you could get stuff in the UK was PAL video, like DVD and VHS. And with uh, Blu-ray, for the first time ever in the UK, you could get things in the original film frame rate of 24 frames per second, which meant, great, it's now running at the correct speed, but the running time is a little shorter. So I figure out how this goes back in there. Or, sorry, a little longer, because it's actually uh, playing at the correct speed now. <laughs> So a lot of people, you know, Joe Blow consumer may not have been aware of that. I'm just going to slide this back in here and we'll quickly go over the extras that are in this edition. Uh, with many of these boutique labels, they often port over extras from other editions, but then have a lot of exclusive stuff as well. So this one I'm pretty sure is no exception. So the extras are actually listed on the back of the uh, box. So if you don't have the box, you actually have no list of the extras. <laughs> it's only the cover art on those. So uh, it's not a. It's not like it is nowadays where they actually have a J card that goes over or something like that. No, it's actually printed right on the box. Okay, so here we go. So this amazing edition contains four option reversible sleeve with original and newly commissioned artwork, double sided fold out poster. 32-page collector's booklet featuring an introduction to the film by Eli Roth, director of Cabin Fever, Hostel, and Hostel Part 2, Beyond Bombast, and an interview with Al Cliver by author and critic Callum Waddell, as well as reprints of original lobby cards, stills, and behind-the-scenes photographs from the collection of star David Warbeck. Disc 1 contains a brand new HD restoration of the film, presented completely uncut. Of course, it's not HD on the DVD, but at least you have the higher resolution of PAL. You just want to maybe correct the timing in your VLC player. Uh, English Dolby Digital 5.1, original English and Italian mono audio options. Special features, introduction by star Cinzia Monreal, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, audio commentary with Antonella Fulci and Callum Waddell, audio commentary with David Warbeck and Catriona McCall, a.k.a. Sarah Keller, Cinzia Monreal Remembers the Beyond, Catriona McCall Q&A from the Glasgow Film Theatre, and an Open Your Eyes Easter Egg. This too is all special features. Contains One Step Beyond, Catriona McCall Remembers a Spaghetti Splatter Classic, Beyond Italy, Louis Fuller and the Seven Doors of Death, interview with U.S. distributor and editor of the Beyond, Terry Levine, Butcher, Baker, and Zombie Maker, The Living Dead Legacy of Special Effects Wizard, Gianetto Di Rossi. Fulci Flashbacks, Dario Argento, Daria Nicolodi, Sergio Stivaletti, Antonella Fulci, and others remember The Godfather of Gore. 
alternative color pre-credit sequence, and the original international trailer. So yeah, in short, a pretty deluxe edition. So needless to say, I wanted to get this on Blu-ray for a very long time. And it was a few years later that this edition came out from Grindhouse Releasing. Now, I'm not sure how well this will turn out, but I want to show you something. Watch. Okay, I guess that didn't really turn out. But anyway, um, it's the special limited edition glow-in-the-dark one. I don't know how well you can tell, but uh, some of the, like her eyes and the, the square around the Beyond logo is actually glow-in-the-dark ink. So I guess to the naked eye, <laughs> you can see it glow-in-the-dark. It doesn't turn out on camera that well, though. But um, anyway, this is a really, really nice edition. They did a beautiful restoration on this. And uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's loaded with special features, as you can see. And if you take a look there. So yeah, the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark version of the slip box was a limited edition. Um, I was really late getting this. And I was, it was totally by fluke that I managed to get that edition. Um, and I certainly have no complaints. I like how they have the warning on here as well. That uh, no one under 17 should watch it because, you know... It'll mess you up good. <laughs> so, all right. So if we take a look here, we got the Beyond on the top. This is glow in the dark as well, by the way. A lot of the, uh, I think this is too. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Not the, well, maybe the one on the bottom is too. I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, very nice. So let's open this up here, and we'll uh, take a look inside. So very nice, uh, you know. A little bit flimsy, but otherwise, you know, pretty nice box. It has this card inside just to kind of keep things uh, tidy and separate and so they don't get caught on the flap inside, which is quite a nice consideration. So if we take a look, what we have here as a bonus, we actually have the soundtrack CD, which is very cool. That's something that the Arrow Edition didn't have. So this is one of the reasons collectors like me like to get multiple editions of things sometimes is different um, extras, different contents, essentially. So here we have, again, different cover art on the front, and the spine there, and the contents on the back. We'll go over all the extras in just a moment here. And then if we open it up, oh, look at that. So we have different disc art on each one there. So we got our extras disc. And the uh, feature disc, very nice. And if you take a look underneath it, I believe it is actually a reversible cover. Set these aside for a moment. And take the insert book out. So what do we have here? Oh, I see. We actually have Lucio Fulci's filmography on the back there. Very cool. Let me just uh, slide that out for you and you can see it a little more clearly. There we go. So his uh, entire filmography. That's actually very cool. Okay, there we go. So in addition to that, we have a booklet here as well chapter listing on the back. And if we take a look here, we have yet another interesting book of behind the scenes goodies about the movie. Lots of uh, full color pictures. Yeah, the booklet isn't quite as robust as what you get in uh, the Arrow editions nowadays, but it's still quite nice. There's like lots of interesting tidbits of info in here. And there you go. I'm just going to put the discs back in. There we go. And the booklet. And then what we'll do is we'll just set these next to each other. 
Make sure we'll do it this way. And I'll uh, go over the list of extras for you. Okay, here we go. I can't because it's on the back of the box. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll give you a look at the soundtrack. Well, let's do it this way so that it's not in shadow. The light's over there for, you know, dramatic effect. So, all right. There we go. Okay, extras. Spectacular high definition digital transfer of the original uncensored director's cut. Breathtaking 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround Sound Remix by Academy Award winner Paul Ottoson. Provocative commentary by stars Catriona McCall and genre superstar David Warbeck. Optional Italian language soundtrack and original mono mix. Ah, you were worried for a second there, weren't you? No, they got you covered. New in-depth interviews with stars Catriona McCall, Cinzia Monreal, uh, and Giovanni De Nava, U.S. production manager Larry Ray, makeup artist Gianetto De Rossi, and Maurizio Trani, cinematographer Sergio Salvati, writer Dardano Sacchetti, producer Fabrizio De Angelis, composer Fabio Frizzi, and Antonella Fulci. Rare archival interviews with director Lucio Fulci and David Warbeck. Lost German pre-credit sequence in full color. Liner notes by legendary horror journalist Chaz Ballin and Euro horror expert Martin Bean. Extensive still galleries and theatrical trailers. And a bonus CD of the newly remastered soundtrack album by Fabio Fritzi. And other surprises. Ooh! Yeah, so in short, a very deluxe edition. So I'm going to put this all back together here. There we go. And you can see it has the cardboard there. So that is my two wonderful editions of Lucio Fulci's masterpiece, The Beyond. And there you have it. So two very, very nice editions. Um, this one is long out of print, needless to say. You might still be able to luck out and find it for a decent price from some uh, third-party sellers. I don't know how much it goes for these days because it's kind of been replaced by the Grindhouse Releasing Edition. But, uh, you know, Arrow completists might want it for their collection. Um, I'll see if I can find some Amazon links for you, and if so, I'll put them in the description down below. At the very least, I'll be able to give you links to this one. Um, and... You know, if you're looking to, to try out some Italian horror, this is one of the all-time greats, honestly. I mean, it's right up there with Argento's best. Uh, like Fulci and Argento, they, they were the two heavy hitters in the, you know, supernatural horror uh, Italian films. And, uh, and this is definitely one of the all-time greats. All righty. Well, that is it for this Closer Look. I'll see you again next week for another one. Um, and then during the week, whatever I've got planned there, enjoy. Alrighty, so thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream over there just about every day, so chances are, if you go there right now, I'm probably streaming something. Alrighty, and I'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara. <laughs>